Um, my name is Cheyenne Baker. Um, I'm from New Oxford, Pennsylvania, which is like by Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. Um, I go to Arcadia University and I'm a graphic design major. I chose to do an internship abroad mainly because um, being a graphic design major, I knew eventually I wanted to do an internship before getting into the workforce. So my internship is at Curie Radio in Redfern. I work with the arts coordinator and the events coordinator um, to do artwork for a young Aboriginal music festival. And I did a bunch of the artwork that went on projections behind the performers. The honeymoon phase, I think, happened right when we got here. Um, we spent five days in Melbourne before coming to Sydney um, as like an orientation thing to get adjusted into being to Australia, um, which was I th definitely the honeymoon phase because we were all super, super excited right when we got here. And that whole week was kind of just experiencing the culture in Melbourne um, and things and how people adjust and do things here. Um, and then we came here, so I guess like the first like week or two in Sydney was also kind of the honeymoon phase, just because we didn't have classes yet. We were just kind of doing what we wanted to do before like adjusting into having like a regular routine of what needed to be done. My main goal was I wanted to hold a koala. I don't know why, I don't know the reason, but that's what I wanted and I wanted a picture with a koala, um, which I got a picture with a koala, but I didn't get to hold it because you can't hold them in New South Wales. Um, but yeah, that was like the main thing I wanted to do coming here. Frustration, I don't think is more so, I don't think it's a phase. I think it just kind of comes and goes throughout the whole semester, just depending on like the workload and how much you have going on at a time. So I've had the frustration phase the entire time I've been here, but it's not, I don't think it's a negative thing. I think it's a, like a healthy, like helpful thing that I've been frustrated, if that makes sense. Things that help me get through like the frustration and everything while I'm here, definitely music is one of them. I use music as something that calms me down. Music has always been a big part of my life, even back home, so having it here also has helped. It's familiar to me back home, so like bands that I listen to back home um, and of the pop punk genre that I listen to, like All Time Low and Green Day and those kinds of things that I have connections with back home and like family members helps me cope with not being able to have them here with me um, and also being able to experience concerts here because we went to a concert while we were here also because back home I'm used to being able to go to like tons of concerts and that's a big outlet that helps me cope with stress and frustration um, so we had the chance of doing that here too which was awesome and was a way to just take time off to just not think about classes. I keep a sketchbook of things that when I'm frustrated or when I am just feeling upset that I just kind of draw things that I'm used to drawing or things that I'm thinking about or um, like shows I'm into at the time or like books and just draw things that are similar to like things in my head um, and that's just a way to keep me from not being like, not doing anything. So it's just a way for me to get my thoughts out on paper and do something productive. Every time I go somewhere, my friends will say, I always have a camera with me, whether it's my phone camera or like a regular camera. Um, and taking pictures, I think definitely showing people, cause I know people ask me all the time, they're like, post pictures, I wanna see things, I wanna see what you're doing. So like that's a way for me to show people back home that I don't necessarily talk to every day what I'm doing and what I'm up to. Um, it also connects me, I think, with my dad more so, um, just because my dad's a professional photographer at home. Um, and so being able to take pictures and do things and show him what I'm doing and also improving in my photography skills has like made more of a connection and has made me feel more at home with my dad too. All the pictures that are on my wall currently are pictures that have been huge moments in my life, including all of the people that hold like a special place in my heart. So there's, and it's right across from my bed. So if I'm like feeling homesick, I can like just look over and it's kind of there. Um, and then just making sure that I talk to my family or my friends back home, at least like, at least talk to them every day, at least my parents. Um, and being able to work out times to FaceTime them and talk to them has helped also. 
I'm still having issues trying to figure out when to talk to my family just because we have a 14 hour time difference. We're 14 hours ahead here than we are back home. So trying to like juggle when I can talk to them and when I can't talk to them with their work schedules is difficult. Also having multiple people that want to talk to you at once is difficult because you're like, oh, I want to talk to this person, but I haven't talked to this person in a while. So like trying to juggle both of them at the same time. The adjustment thing kind of came easy to me just because I'm used to back home. I went from being at home all the time and then I'm moving to college and living on campus at home. So that was kind of something I was already kind of used to. Adjusting wise, it's been more so trying to adjust to the Australian culture and things that they don't have here that we're used to at home. Things that I miss the most, um, I think my family and my friends and my cat. Definitely my cat. <laughs> um, so some of the low points of being here was definitely the fact of being in like a big city and being in a new environment, something I'm not used to. Um, Cause if I'm back home, I'm used to being in a small town. Um, and so adjusting to that was kind of hard. Um, but some of the high points, I've noticed that people here are a lot more like friendly and they'll just come up to you on the street. And it's easier, I think, to have a conversation with someone here than it is back home. Like once I got into like a routine and figured out what I was doing and classes started and um, my internship started, things started like fitting into place. No, I think I'm definitely at the acceptance stage. I mean, there's still times where I'm kind of like, I really want to go home. I miss things at home a lot. But like, I've accepted the fact that I like being here, that I love the experience that I'm having.